My name is Tom Bidongo. I'm the director for basic and translational science at the Africa Health Research Institute in Durban, South Africa. And I'm one of the co-organizers of the HIV Cure Keystone Symposium that will be taking place in Durban, South Africa in uh, April 2025. I'm called Dr. Sisi Chom Tuluza. I'm the executive director of the Joint Clinical Research Center based in Uganda. And an institution that pioneered antiretroviral therapy in sub-Saharan Africa. I'm also one of the co-organizers of the HIV Cure Keystone Symposia that will take place in Durban in April 2025. I think this is a very important meeting. Uh, we are at a critical stage in the area of HIV uh, Cure research. Uh, there have been a lot of developments over the last uh, few years in particular. And most importantly, the HIV cure agenda is expanding to the global south where most of the HIV infections are. For me, I was one of the pioneers on the use of antiretroviral therapy in sub-Saharan Africa. And we have seen the great strides we have made and the lives that uh, have been saved because of antiretroviral therapy. But as we move forward, we see we have the greatest numbers. Antiretroviral therapy will be taken for life. The funding for antiretroviral therapy is also decreasing and we have to find another intervention. I think one of the most exciting areas of research on HIVQ at the moment is the use of broadly neutralizing antibodies, uh, which have been shown to result in uh, ART free remission. The mechanisms are still unclear, and we will be hearing about some of the studies that are being done on this and uh, some of the work trying to work out what the mechanisms of ART free control is in people who took broadly neutralizing antibodies. But it's not just broadly neutralizing antibodies. I'm also very excited about other forms of immunotherapies that are being explored for HIV uh, cure. And we will be hearing some of the latest advances and some of the latest data on antiretroviral free control of HIV in people who received various kinds of immunotherapy. In addition to what Tumbi has mentioned, I think what is really very exciting is about the seven cases that have been cured in the world from a bone marrow transplant and because we cannot uh, replicate bone marrow transplant in other patients there are many strategies now on gene therapy to see how we can replicate what happened in those patients well the one thing that the keystone symposia never compromises on is a high quality of presentations. It's usually the cutting edge science, the latest science in the field. And that will still be the case with this meeting. We will showcase the best science there is on HIV cure in the world. But we will also have young investigators uh, present their work. And there will be this opportunity to interact with some of the leading investigators. I think that this will be a, a really important uh, meeting uh, it brings together leading researchers, it brings other key stakeholders, like funders, industry, all together in one room, uh, as well as the next generation of investigators in this area. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, you're all welcome. Uh, we are looking forward to welcoming you to Durban, South Africa. Please join us for this meeting. This is going to be a transformational meeting, the first Keystone Symposia on HIV cure in Africa. And this is going to set the pace and momentum for what we do in low and middle income countries to bring an HIV cure to the people that are affected most by HIV. You're very welcome and uh, see you at the Keystone Symposia in Durban.